Lola and Louie found some very cute zoo babies and some road hogs. Sounds like it's time for this week's edition of the News Hounds. It's News Hounds Now Update with Lola and Louie. This week on the News Hounds, holy cats. History making cheetah cubs. And a sea lion nowhere near the sea. But first, a polar bear cub at the Copenhagen Zoo took its first steps outside. Actually, Mom Noel had to give the little one a little nudge. The cub, who has not been named yet, took the first tentative steps outside of its feeding cave. This is also the first time outside for the 17-year-old mom since giving birth on December 6th. So she took the opportunity to roll in the snow, to walk around, and take a dip in the pond. The cub will undergo a veterinary check in the next few weeks when it will be determined if it's a boy or a girl. These cheetah cubs, a boy and a girl, were born last week at the Columbus Zoo and Aquarium, and they have a pretty cool story. They're the first cheetah cubs to be born through in vitro fertilization. Biological mom Kabibi has genes that are considered valuable to maintaining a strong line of cheetahs in human care, but zoo officials worried that she was too old to give birth, so they implanted her eggs into Izzy, who was a few years younger. Dad Slash lives at a zoo in Texas. This was the third time Sian has ever tried this procedure, and clearly, the third time's a charm. Sheriff's officers in Washington state had to deal with an unexpected road hazard, a wayward sea lion. The roadblock took place about two miles away from the Columbia River, the likely starting point of the sea lion's adventure. The 600-pound sea lion put up a big stink about getting into the cage that would transport him back to his water home. Finally, Layla, the Bengal cat, is having a good run on the cat wheel. That is until Ella decides it's her turn and shoves her feline friend off the machine.